All right, we are back with some Gungeon, and I've got the mod the Gungeon working. I don't know how well it's going to work, uh, but I've been dealing with a, a hand issue, issue. I was kind of talking about this beforehand. But it's kind of one of those where my hand's just been a little crappy lately, and I haven't been able to play a whole lot of roguelikes. I should be playing the Slay the Spire, honestly, uh, but whatever. I, I really wanted to play Gungeon. I was, I was watching um, Sleep Cycles play couple days ago and I was like you know what I could learn how to do this I could be good anyway so because my hands kind of garbage we're gonna do some like kind of jokey cheat runs first uh, let's see attempting to spawn duct tape there it is okay so effectively what I'm gonna just do is give myself oh right backpack Okay, I'm just going to give myself a bunch of duct tape, and we're just going to make uh, the Infinigun, and see see how that goes. Alright, so that's... I've got a vague idea how the, how the controls work. It's been a little while. Can you strap uh, regular stuff to the, the pistol? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, let's see, Slay the Spire later tonight. We could... Uh, Slay the Spire is probably going to be in a day or two. I'm going to... So, what I'm going to do is effectively pare down the roguelike roulette again. Or maybe not, and just really start doing the roguelike roulette to start every night off for a while. Maybe, maybe forever. Because roguelikes are my bread and butter. They always have been. Uh, I love them. They're really fun. And uh, I think I need to, like... My problem is I overplay my roguelikes a little bit. How do I... I actually don't remember how I uh, switch guns here. Let's see, what, what is the switch gun button? Okay, it's press and hold Y. I thought there was an easier way to switch weapons, like some kind of hot swap. I don't really remember. Okay, so duct tape does not work with infinite ammo guns. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know what that guy does. Uh, let's see. But yeah, roguelikes are my bread and butter. My problem is I tend to overplay them a little bit. Um... You know, I, I tend to play a boatload. I see, so that guy just books it away and then leaves. Uh. But yeah, so I, I've been... I've been, I think, away from roguelikes for too long. You know, I, I overplayed Slay the Spire. I overplayed Wizard of Legend. I overplayed... Ow! I overplayed... Uh, I mean, everything, effectively. Nope. Uh, you know what? Let's grab this. How do we... How do we swap items? Nope, that's... Sorry. Gonna be a little bit. So that's how I hot swap those. How do I... How do I hot swap usables? You know, I'm just gonna check the options. It's been a while. It's been too long. Let's see. Play one controller but, uh, buttons. Aim up, aim down, left, right. Use item, right trigger, use blank. Next item is up. Okay. Commit changes, no. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to... We might as well use the supply drop for that one. Grab this. I wonder if you can give yourself my, uh, multiple backpacks. I bet you can, actually. Swap items is shift. I'm using a controller. It's a little easier on my hands. Let's see, when are we getting any Monster Hunter World this weekend? Yeah, uh, so now the multiplayer is, like, kind of, I'm not gonna say officially dead. You know, I might end up playing with, uh, Durr for Burden Durr for something like that. Uh, but because, now that our, our multiplayer series of Monster Hunter World is, uh, is done so, uh, what I've been doing in my off time a little bit, uh, and I will admit, uh, full, full-heartedly that I'm cheating wildly. I'm running at times times five speed with unlimited lives. Uh, just, it, there is something really funny about fighting a Nergigante when you're nigh on invincible and uh, can't die. Uh, it's going to make me like real garbage, but that's fine. Snowballer, almost seems appropriate given the situation. Um, but yeah, so I'm racing through the Monster Hunter World uh, PC version so I could actually play endgame stuff again. Because I'd like to. 
I, I'd like to play more Monster Hunter World. I'd like to do a lot of things. Uh, it's a little tough, because Shell's, uh, Shell's family is coming to visit this week. Which makes things a little harder for me, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the most social of butterflies. I like, um, I like my, I'm not going to say alone time, but I don't like being bothered. I, I kind of prefer to be, uh, to be left to my own devices so I can get work done. And so that means them visiting, it's a, it's a distinctively, like, fair amount of work. Uh, just keeping up with it all, uh, you know, going out, seeing, seeing stuff, people, tourism -y things, and, you know, if, if this were, like, a normal, if I were a normal person, I could be like, yeah, I'm just gonna take the week off. Uh, but I'm not a normal person, I do not have a normal job. And so I'll be streaming as normal. Uh, the bigger problem is YouTube. And that's part of the reason why I've been, like, overdoing it a lot. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, we were originally planning on moving sometime this fall. I don't think that's actually gonna pan out. Um, for stuff. I, I don't actually know how, how moving is going to work. Let's see, what is this? Horn of Duty. I don't know what that does. Whereas this one does... Double shot. I think the double shot's better. Okay. Charm enemy is near you. Yeah, double double yeah, double vision is most definitely better. Let's see, can you shoot the fireplace for me? Isn't it I thought uh for the fireplace you were supposed to get uh like get water into it. You can go shoot it though. Nope. Charming horn lets you steal though. Eh. I'll live. I, I'll mess with uh, scum tactics later. Like right now, I'm mostly just interested in being able to continue uh, to to play this game. To to not suck at it because it's been a while. There we go. Now, why did I why did I do that? Sorry. Also trying to remember how, how the controls work. Do we grab the... Do we grab the snowballer? Yeah, screw it. Alright. And we're gonna use the duct tape. Okay, so now we have the uh, this double snowballer. I guess I should have done that before I opened up the chest, but whatever. I haven't taken damage, but I don't have any blanks. But, I'm effectively just going to be strapping as many guns to the singular gun as I can. And so be it. And if this ends up making me ridiculous and overpowerful, overpowered, then so be it. I don't know. I I really enjoy making ridiculous stuff, and I might as well kind of play this with ridiculous guns until I like know all the boss uh, patterns and whatnot. Though I seem to be doing fairly well for myself. It helps that uh, I've got two of the frostiest possible guns I could possibly throw at an enemy here. Shame it doesn't slow slow down their actual uh, their actual bullets, but it slows down the rest, so I'll take it. Anyway, so I'm probably going to be doing duct tape runs for a while. Uh, for those of you that that uh, disapprove of this, I apologize, but oh well. Anyway, uh, let's see. Can I can I just press up? Nope. Oops. Okay, there's there's the duct tape. Duct tape. And since I don't understand what 90% of these guns quote unquote do, I'm just going to be duct taping them all together. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes. Let's see, we've got plenty of ammo. So, yeah, alright. Let's say I'd recommend just giving 10 duct tapes right now. 
Uh, so they don't they don't uh, actually overfill your inventory? If that's the case, then sure, why not? Bah! Okay, probably shouldn't have given myself too much. And if you need to, you can spawn ammo. Yep. But I think I'm just gonna mess around until I'm like comfortable with the game, and then we'll do some non non duct tape runs. Uh, but for now, dumb dumb nonsense. I like dumb nonsense. I will defeat my foes with the Omni Gun. Might not be the most ammo efficient thing ever, but still. And yeah, I might just give myself the uh, the Shelton key too. Uh, what is the button to reload? That's the button to reload. That bolt action is actually really good. Oops, and I'm a dumbass. What the come? The Shelton key reduces the chance of special uh, special types of chests. Okay. Let's see, how did Pathfinder go to last night? Eh, went well as always. I so, I'm just gonna be kind of in random chatty mode here. Uh, so Pathfinder is... The path- uh, I don't know how many of you guys have followed Pathfinder Kingmaker. But it's a- it's a very satisfying game, once you get the di difficulty retooled. I think that's actually true for quite a lot of games, that like, sometimes it actually just needs a little bit of, like, fiddling. You know, in, in such a way that the developers might not have originally intended. Um, and, and sometimes in the way it intended, I mean, uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker, for example, gives you a stupid amount of difficulty options, and you might as well, like, uh, use them, especially if the game's not very fun at, like, regular difficulty, and so that's, that's what I did, now it's, like, a much, much more satisfying experience. Unfortunately, like all CRPGs, it's in insanely long. I love CRPGs, but I would love to play a couple of CRPGs that are short. You know, well-designed, short, uh, and kind of to the point. And they all tend to be, like, hundred-hour-long experiences. Experiences and stuff, and it's just like, no. Oops. I just, I'm shooting on instinct now. I am the problematic gunner. It is... Very satisfying. Uh, just having all of these guns strapped together at once. I I have to admit, like, we had that one, was it, it was the double t-shirt run. The last time I played. And that was insanely satisfying. And so, now just doing it with every gun, should be pretty fun. Seven Leaf Clover would make this run completely insane. What does that do? Out of sheer curiosity. Oops. That's not the use item I'm looking for. The double vision is pretty good. I gotta make sure I don't acc accidentally use my uh, blanks, though. Turns out those are, uh... Well... Left... I, I gotta remember, left trigger is not use item. Is... Remind me, is, is is it left or right trigger in, in Isaac? I actually don't remember. Do we bother with that? That seems like a waste of a key, honestly. Okay, Seven Leaf Clover makes all chests red red or black. I mean, how about this? We'll do we'll do a one round like this, and then uh, we'll do another round with even more uh, random random garbage, like the Seven Leaf Clover. Man, the auto aim on the controller is incredibly helpful. I it's so I'm so much accurate, like uh, so much more accurate than this, or like this. I don't know. Words. I think they just killed each other. It also helps when like all of my shots just instigate most enemies, and I don't have to worry about ammo because by welding all these guns together, I've pretty much combined their ammo capacity, and the uh, the bolt action is. Uh, effectively, we've got, like, a 6-700 bullet bolt-action rifle, plus some other stuff. 
Let's see, multiplayer is dead, but not multiplayer with Shell, right? Yes. So, uh, Shell and I will actually be playing Mario Party tonight. I've heard meh things about the new Mario Party. Like, it's not that great. Hello. Oh, this is mid-boss. But, like, I, I've heard iffy things about the latest Mario Party. Like, it's not very good. Uh, and I kind of understand if it isn't. But I haven't played a Mario Party game in years. And I figured, hey, what the heck? Might as well. Okay, so what do we have? I've got some money. We've got a bunch of keys. We've got a bunch of locked chests, actually. And we've got a secret right there. Oh, this map is handy. Now, are there any good, uh, are there any good tells for, uh, for where, uh, for maps, where maps are, or not maps are, secrets are in this game? So I actually don't know. Anyway, uh, shoot it once, not a mimic. It is the shell that fire, okay. I thought for a second it was a bullet upgrade. I got more excited then. I was wrong. Okay. Let's see, Mario Party with Shell. Better be nice or you'll end up on the couch. We'll see how it goes. So I actually have played uh, less Mario Party than Shell has uh, over the years. So she might actually have an advantage. She might not. We'll see. Clear a Guan Stone. Pure. Hmm. Okay, cracked walls. I'll have to pay attention to that. All right. Well, I got some money, so let's just buy keys from this guy. I know I could get the uh, Primed Primer, but it seems disingenuous to to do that now. Okay, so we want to do duct tape. Duct tape. All right, we have now strapped the next gun together. So I pretty much have the sidearm and whatever the hell this monstrosity is. What's the max ammo on that? It's dirty. It is actually uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, I'm fine with that. Whee! They only crack if you shoot them. Oh, that's tough, though. That is most definitely... Uh-oh. Yeah, I gotta remember she petrifies you. Let's see, there she is. And I don't have a blank right now, but I have a ton of damage, so it's not that big of a deal. Does that get faster? I have no idea if that gets faster. I'm very dangerous though, so I don't have to worry about too much. And since all of my weapons are, are localized on one gun, I don't have to worry about spreading out ammo. So what's this? A bullet that fires guns. Huh. Seems appropriate. Alright, I totally forgot about double vision. Alright, and we want to grab... That. Alright, so now we've got the shell that fires shotguns, the bullet that fires guns, and a bunch of other stuff just crapped in there. Uh, crapped in there. Jammed in there. Have, no, I don't have a whole lot of money. Would have been nice to get another key. Did we go for that chest? I could just give myself infinite keys for extra stupid, but... Let's just, let's just accept whatever licks we get, not cheat too much, even though this is like one hell of a cheat right now. Yeah, you can look away from the wave to not get petrified. Also useful, though rolling through it is about as effective. The shell that fires shotguns and the bullet that fires guns synergize. You mean like if you duct tape them together they synergize, or does it synergize just having both of them? I mean, I guess... It's going to be about the same effectiveness, regardless. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> Just having both of them. Okay. Well, this is monstrous. It does pretty much just fall down to uh, me using one singular gun. I guess it's just the snowball cannon. I guess what I could do is just easily reload whenever I feel like it. There's an enemy in front of me, it dies. I think that's a rule. I'm fine with that. You don't get synergies for taped guns, really.
<laughs> I think um, next run I might try and be maybe maybe not the next run. Uh, we'll do the uh, we'll do the seven leaf clover duct tape run next. Uh, but I think after this I'll I'll do some kind of like um, specific run where I try and make the uh, the perfect combination guns instead. I don't even know necessarily what's going on down here. Uh, but you know, like the super sniper, uh, the super sniper, the fills the room with bullets gun, and so on and so forth. Well, I got keys for it. I guess we should check if it's a mimic, but whatever. Now, oof, rocket full, uh, rocket powered bullets, faster bullets. That sounds worrying. Considering the setup, but that that's fine. Okay. But yeah, this is so much easier on my hands. And I know... Oh. I know people probably sometimes will want, like, legit Gungeon runs, and I'll try and deliver on that. But for now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have fun with what I got. And use, use my current disability as a... Excuse. Whoops. Well, that's fine. Double, double bullets! Sand double, oh right. I forgot, this guy drops the claymores. Which, I don't think I can... Okay. I don't know how I dodged that. I'm not sure how you're supposed to stop that. Pew. Ow. Yeah, I guess I'm not getting the health off this guy. I'm really bad at this guy. Do a seven leaf, ring of chest friendship, ring of mimic friendship, mimic tooth necklace. That'll let me rapidly explore things. We'll do. Okay, and we also get the uh, the mega buster. Sure. Uh, let's see, let's keep strapping that to the horror monstrosity that I've already got. Oh, it's a she. Oh, okay, so it is. I don't see gender, especially in video games. I get confused by it. There is just concern happening. Everything is just concern. Uh, we might as well pop this one open. Nope, not done with the map. I'll come back to this one later. Nope. Eh. Uh, eh, uh, that might actually be one of the only things I don't bother opening. I mean, I could open up a brown chest. Ah. Let's just not be there. Where that is. That just seems like a bad idea. Well, that mushroom functionally doomed himself. Is that that might actually be multiple locked rooms. Let's let's pass on that. I want nothing to do with it. I got to remember to actually wow, that's a durable sucker. Or maybe he doesn't actually he doesn't actually go down until I let him unfreeze. Let's see, that was the jail cell. I have the key. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna assume it's dead. That's an interesting uh, consequence to having the uh, double super freezy, freezy gun. Did I kill the other guy? I did. They don't actually uh, pop down until you unfreeze them. I'm terrible at active reloads. I don't remember which games have active active reloads in them, but I've always I've always been extra trash at that one. Let's see, just give yourself a key for it. I could. I'm assuming it's just give key. Cause I I could do that. I mean we're already cheating flagrantly here. Uh so it's not like it's not like I should have a whole lot of uh I should have a whole lot of guilt about anything. Let's keep buying keys. I guess, honestly, now I most definitely have enough keys. 
finish let's finish out the uh the rest of the map too. Gun muncher. No. I ain't I ain't feeding him this thing. That's a that'd be a bad. That's not a good idea. Hey, give me a key. And uh sawed off. No buts about it. Well, no buts about uh strapping it to this monster. Okay. Oh, nope. I didn't get it all. Oh, right. I guess I have to go in here. I wasn't even thinking. Thanks for unlocking the door. I really thought I'd rolled my last one. My name is Daisuke. I am an acolyte of the great Isohedrix. Look for me in the breach if you want to add some spice to your gungeoneering. Later. Okay. So you wonder what happened to my Darkest Dungeon series. I got... I get really sick of uh, Darkest Dungeon, to be totally honest. I like it. I like it a lot. But it's one of those games where it's just like... It just, I think, makes me frustrated and, like, it slogs on for a while. Okay. So we got Flash Ray, which we strapped to the, the rest of this. It's one of those where, like, I, I consistently want to go back to it, but that's true of, like, 90% of the series I ever do. And it's tough. Okay, so I think we're good. Where's the where's the exit, actually? There's the exit. The big map. There's one hell of a gun. I was actually really hoping some of the bullets would, like, fuse. Doesn't look like it, though. But yeah, hey, Gungeon! Yup! Oh boy, this gungeon, this ow, this gun just became a little bit more laser cannony. I guess that flash rays. I guess it doesn't do as much damage. It will. Now, if I remember right, there's like an actual display. There's like an actual living beast somewhere in there that you can kill too. And that kills all of them? Maybe? I don't know. We need bouncy bullets. Or like homing bullets. There's a couple of things. Crutch? Is that a... Is that a weapon? Or I guess it's a passive? Huh. I don't think I've ever seen the crutch before. Yeah, I'm real garbage at... Uh... Oh, no, I already got this one. I'm real garbage at active reloads. Even when I'm trying, I'm not good. Crutch is homing. Oh! Wait, so I just asked for homing bullets and it just gave me homing bullets. Well, that's... Hello! <laughs> oh, I see. You have to actually get it a little bit before the line. Well, that kind of works. Okay, getting a little bit better at the active reloads. Out of my gungeon! With my gungeon now! I just point and it dies. Oh. Okay, got it. Now, do we, do we fight anything in here or am I just... I'm into... Ah! Am I just here until they're all dead? Looks like looks like it's just wave survival. Whoops! <laughs> I really I like this. It's it's a little easy. I'll I'll have to like maybe do like gun combos or something in the future and just go for like slightly overpowered as opposed to like yes the yes man style, which is just every oh I didn't even notice him there. Let's see, if you get a beam weapon, fuse the duct tape gum onto the beam weapon to get rid of the reloads. Oh! I didn't realize, uh, that mattered. Well, I'll keep that in mind then. Ah, oh no. Get him? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. I mean, pretty much. Did I get him is such a silly question to ask in this. Oops. Oh, 
Like, pretty much everything melts. It's just a matter of time. Hey, thank you, Durzo, for the sub! And welcome to- <laughs> welcome to this nonsense! Okay. Make the primary weapon a beam weapon. Hello! Pea shooter. Baby's first gun. Baby's first gun! Uh... So if I duct tape this to the pea shooter... Now we've got- so it's everything, but it looks like the pea shooter. I gotcha. I'll keep looking for- for goofy nonsense. Yeah, by the way, if you guys are looking for the sub hype emote, I... I've been positing that we use the, uh, the bean emote. And that's the Grim Reaper. Or the Gun Reaper. <laughs> he couldn't catch all the bullets. He tried. He tried and he failed. Okay, so what do we got? Shotgun coffee. Heck if I know what that does. Speed up. And another key. Been a long time YouTube watcher since the Vigante days. Finally made it to a stream. Thanks for all the wonderful combat. Uh, co eh, content. Hey, no problem. Sorry I haven't played uh, Vigante more or less since it came out. I like that game, but it's just so brutal. Violence! I do have to give credit to this gun. It is so much easier to- Oh! Oh, he didn't like that. There we go. Killed him midair. Oh, did I? I'm not actually sure what's going on. That was weird. Frost Giant unlocked. Sweet! Things happened. And I can save this for later, but it's not gonna do anything. Uh, all right, so duct tape this onto the mess. One more bullet for the thing. Been here for the Tower of Guns days. Those are good days. I'd like to go back to Mother Gunship, especially now that they're adding some new stuff. I stopped for a while just because, I mean, ran out of content. Man, I like Tower of Guns. I don't know. I always think back to the game, and I'm like, I really enjoy it. And then whenever I like try and do a uh, like a return to series, uh, nobody cares, and I'm like, no, ah, okay. Grand scheme of things, this is gonna hurt. I probably could have done that better. Did I get him? I got it. Ah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's there's a sneaky dude following me around. Couple of sneaky dudes following me around. Yeah, one of the other reasons why I wanted to do uh, a couple of duct tape runs, at least for a little while, is it's a very good way for me to get used to the enemies. Uh, the enemy types, their patterns, and like how they how they act. Because, uh, like, one thing I hate about roguelikes is, like, you might master, like, a bunch of stuff, but you still get, uh, you still have to, like, go through the initial levels a bunch of times. But I forgot that guy has homing, homing bullets. Um... Uh, and so this gives me a little bit more of an opportunity to get used to dodging when you don't have to worry about shooting. Though admittedly, now at this point I've got enough guns strapped to this thing that it's more of a matter of... Oh, hello. Uh, light gun, rad gun. Eh, they're good. I'll come back. Uh, now everything dies too fast, so I'm not exactly getting that training. But that's fine. See, I actually caught a bit of a stream back when I started playing Bloodborne. I liked Bloodborne. I'm sorry I never finished that one. It was just hard. I mean, that's that's true of like 90% of everything. Huh. I was kind of banking on eventually doing like a co-op series on it. I don't know if that'll ever happen. We'll see. I'm gonna try and make uh, some more like YouTube friends so that I might open some doors more than, uh, have doors closed for me. I am flubbing these. Ah. Still 
don't know how uh, a whole lot of people with PS4s, I think. I could be wrong on that one, actually. I guess I just never ask. How am I on fire? I guess I must have been too close to those. Because, yeah, you get set on fire if you walk over that, but I didn't think I was that close. Well, I don't know. I am partially here, suffice to say. One of the other reasons why I'm doing this right now is I got a... Oh, come on. I got a nasty comment the other... I am mashing that roll button and it, it, it is not rolling. It's very strange. I'm using a uh, Nintendo Switch controller and I don't know if it's... If it takes a little bit more pressing. Uh, than like a... A regular... Regular controller? Any of my other controllers. So I th it might be throwing me off. I don't know. Whatever. I'm actually taking damage. He fell into the spikes twice in a row. Yeah, I am... I'm taking this too casually. For better or worse, I don't know. Whoa. Somebody here was accurate. Oh, Bubble Bobble. That's what was shooting at me. How's my ammo doing? Oh, it's doing fine. We have nothing to worry about there. Everything is de ah. Everything is death. I might actually lose. There's some there's some enemy patterns in here, and I'm I'm taking a little bit more. A lot of that damage is from falling into the pits, though. So I might actually be able to make a recovery. I also, like, I'm reasonably confident at fighting the dragon. Or, I was earlier. Of the bosses, I think his patterns actually make a lot more sense to me than a number of the other bosses in the game. I still am going to have trouble with the, uh, the Mind Flare. That dude is, uh, complicated? I didn't even see that see that damage roll through. We oh uh it's dragon. Probably shouldn't do that yet. Especially because I only have four HP. That's a bit much. Nope. No gun muncher. This is a no gun munch zone. I'm not feeding him this thing. I'm not even sure what he would react to this this weird duct tapey monstrosity. If he would react. Like, what, do you just barf? It'd be great if you barfed. You, you just, like... If they just, like, explode. I actually don't know if I can kill that. That, like, weird cube thing. No, but you can render it inert, so I guess close enough. Hello! Huh. I saw the hammer, but it wasn't coming down on my position. It was coming down over there for whatever reason. I don't know. Got question. No answer. No health either. Is that? Nope. Didn't get the ghost. There we go. More keys. These levels are lengthy. Alright, this one's worth this one's worth popping open. We need that health. And we get the D-pad. Oh, oh, oh boy. It's uh a little bit on the low ammo side of things, but that's okay, because whammo it gets added to the rest. Now that now that D-pad has unlimited ammo. Oh shit. I didn't even notice it there. I'm looking towards the future, maybe a little bit too aggressively. Well, I'm a one-man bullet fiesta. I love it. Don't duct tape it. Oh no, dude, it's too late. It, I I already said I was going with the yes man duct tape everything. Uh, run. So, uh, oh no is the appropriate response. Is oh. Oh right, she's here. We could get shock rounds, but if I remember right. 
Wait, no, shock rounds would be amazing on this run. Oh well, too late. If you expend all of the D-pad's ammo, it drops a chest. Oh, good to know. Well, too late now. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, this might be one of the only runs where shock rounds is actually really, really good. But, oh well, such is life. I'll keep that in mind in the future. Alright, is there any... Nope. I'm just gunning for it. First time I ever fought the dragon was just downright stressful. Let's see how it, let, let's see how this one feels. Probably equally stressful. Nope. I'm actually dying. I and I know exactly why. Oh. Can I not... I can't man... Uh, I have to manually reload from now on. That's a problem. So the one problem with my, my super duct tape monstrosity gun... I, uh... My super duct tape monstrosity gun covers way too much of the user interface. And I can't really see what's going on that well. And I guess I have to manually... Reload. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot him out of the... Did I get it? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, can I shoot him? It looks like I can shoot him. Oh, gotta shoot his heart. Is that a genie that, like, punches his heart for me? It might be. Luckily, all the blank spaces are over here on the left. Ah, and I'm dead. Damn it. Yeah, too much damage falling into pits. But I also haven't played in a while, so... Kind of my fault. Mostly my fault. That's fine. Let's go back to the breach, buy some stuff, and I'll mess around. And one of the guns is the genie gun. Oh, I remember. It was the lamp. I'll get better at this. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. Who do we mess with? Bring the pupper. If you hit with the magic lamp three times, it spawns the genie and does a bit of damage. I kind of remember that now. Kind of. Where's the... This is the shop, right? We can get the tangler... Heroin. Oh! It's a Mega Buster. Or, well, the Samus Buster, whatever you want to call it. Arm Cannon. That's the thing. I've been playing too much Mega Man. Let's buy the sponge. It is spongy. Alright. And down we go. Uh, 